ไทยไปทุกบาทและผมทำการผ่าตัดและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผมใช้ผ้าคลุมและผม Treaty days on my res is called Treaty in your four days, and it goes back to like nineteen seventy three or something. Okay, just like a real quick edit to this part. Treaty days is something that happens where we get like our treaty payments from the treaties. We get five dollars a year for being indigenous, <laughs> and like. That's what Treaty Days is, and it's been around. It's been, we've had Treaty Days since the treaties were signed in like the eighteen hundreds, and like this is an every year thing since then. But Treaty and Yorpo Days started in nineteen seventy three, which is when we started like doing all these like major events, and it started to like become this whole big week long. Cool festival thing. That's what started in 1973. But we have been having like treaty days where we get our five dollars every year since like the 1800s. Um, however, like we kind of turned it into a festival over like many years. So, just to clarify that, and it's like I don't know this week long event or festival or something, whatever you want to call it. And you, they have like different competitions, and then they have like entertainment in the evenings, like singing and stuff or square dancing and stuff like that. And then they usually have like a concert, cool, cool concerts. Like <laughs> just making it sound deadly. Yeah. So it's just this thing, and then. Obviously, like I said, they have competitions. One of them is like a yard boat race, and like that's when they row like really big boats, and you have to be super strong to do that shit. Anyways, yeah, it's pretty deadly. Just kidding, but um. Anyways, I it was Treaty in Yard Boat Days, and it was in two thousand eighteen when I first had my son, my. Oldest son, I had him in February, and then I think in like May, I got a job at this restaurant in my res. It's called the Diner. I was waitress there, and then I worked there. Treaty and Yorkpo days usually happens in like August, the first week of August. So I started working there in May, and I was working as a waitress. From May until September, when I went back to school. So like I worked there all summer, whatever. And then it came Treaty and Yorpo days, and it's like lots of people come to town too, for Treaty and Yorpo days. People just come like because they have singing events and different types of events, and people want to compete because you could win like a lot of money in these competitions. But actually. That this year Treaty on Yorkpo Days is the fiftieth annual Treaty on Yorkpo Days in twenty twenty three, and it is going to be the first prize for men's treaty, no for men's Yorkpo races is fifty thousand dollars. Whoever wins this year is winning fifty thousand dollars for their team. Anyways, you could win a lot of money. That's why lots of people like come to. Come to Norway House to go and compete in these things and win. Anyways, so I was in one of these deadly competitions. Just kidding. <laughs> so yeah, I was in one of these competitions and 
one. Not all the competitions are like deadly competitions. Some competitions that they have there are like funny. I like they're funny just to see people do funny things or they have things like horseshoe throwing whatever or those things where they use shoot discs skeet shooting or they have like um poker or they have even children's events and stuff like that so they have like all different types of events just events with high prizes they don't only have those they have like regular events for like anyone my boss wanted to do like one of the funny ones i was like this is cool like i don't have to go to work and we can like go compete in an event heck yeah york boat days is held at this place it's called down the bank or dtb just kidding but it's called down the bank because like it's right right by the lake is where they hold it because like obviously that's where like the your boats have to race on on the lake so that's where they hold it and then they also have like all types of like different food booths where people like set up their booths and they sell like food or like candy or t-shirts or anything you want slushies everything anyways yeah okay yeah, everything happens down the bank they have food booths they have events down there and then they have like the your boat races and all the entertainment is down there as well too the diner was not down the bank but it was like kind of close it was like a three minute drive like literally three minutes or maybe two minutes it wasn't far at all we had to like drive down the bank to like go compete in our competition and the competition the funny competition that we were competing in was called the indian car cram and basically what it is is like you have a team of 15 people and it's pretty self-explanatory all of us cram into this car and um the way it works is like it's timed and then whoever crams in the car the fastest wins but anyway so we drove down the bank we got down there went to go find whoever's in charge of this event we didn't have enough people we didn't even bring enough people to do that event okay our team was called diner staff because like we were the diner staff and that was our team only seven of us were actual diner staff but we needed 15 people so we just went walking around down the bank looking for people to be on our team i asked my two cousins their names are their names are Ringo and Ding Dong. I asked them to come be on my team. So I was like, What's up, cuz? You guys want to come be your good days champs with me? And then they were like, For what? And I was like, We're going to be doing the Indian car cram. We have to get 15 people and we all have to cram into a car and see who can do it the fastest. So my cousins were like, Yeah, we'll be on your team. And then I got my two cousins and then everyone else went to go like find a few people to be on our team the other people just brought some other people that i don't really know oh yeah we even ended up with like an older lady on our team she was like a little granny she wanted to be on our team i was like are you sure i don't want to like hurt her when we all cram into the car but she really wanted to be on our team she was down something to mention about this story is that like i thought we were gonna lose for real because i had health issues that summer okay i mean i kind of mentioned that there was a little granny on our team for a reason because she kind of plays like a like a role in this story i have arthritis okay i have rheumatoid arthritis and like i'm actually diagnosed with it and it's not that bad right now but it can get really bad sometimes i have it bad especially on my legs and like this summer was actually the time that I found out that I had it as well because I think when my son was like four months old is when it started to get bad and like I was limping around and my knee and my ankle always felt like super tender and like I would have to limp and like it was kind of getting tough for me to like take care of my baby as well because like i was limping everywhere and then like i also had like my job at the diner and i would limp around at work too my ankle was like so painful almost like 90 percent of the freaking time i didn't know that it was arthritis like i thought i twisted it or something so i kept putting ice on it and like arthritis 
the best thing for arthritis is to keep it warm and like if you get it cold it'll hurt more so like i was probably fucking up my arthritis more by doing that so it was like really bad my mom made me go to the freaking hospital in norway house and she was like maybe your ankle is broken or something like maybe you have like a hairline fracture and that's why you're limping around because like why is it so painful like this is getting bad so I went to the hospital and then I don't know they took an x-ray or whatever I wasn't broken leg it turned out that I have arthritis and they gave me like naproxen or whatever like anti-inflammatory and that helped it was still painful at this time on your boat days when I was competing in the Indian car cram like it was pretty bad still at that time like I was still limping and like I had a hard time walking never mind run running but I was like so down to be in this competition that I didn't care. What you have to do is like you have to stand at this line here and then you have to run to the car. And like everyone on our team, 15 people and then like a little granny. And you would just think that like someone who's young, like 20 years old, would be able to like run faster than an elder, obviously. Like that's just something you would assume. This lady ran like past me and like i was limping and i was the last one i was literally the last one i was pretty embarrassed being the last one to get to the car so i got to the car and i and then we won i jumped in the car and we won i'll show you the video here look this is it here we are we're running to the vehicle i'm barely not running there's my cousins jumping in the car there's my cousin who's like, hurry up, hurry up. And I came running, jumped in. Ooh, deadly fast. See? And then, yeah, close the door. That other, that girl couldn't fit on the other side. So she came jumping in and closed the door. Champions. <laughs> And this video is only like 36 seconds long, so we only took like 36 seconds to jump into the freaking vehicle and cram ourselves in there. So yeah, that's what happened. Um, that's how I became a 2018 Treaty in Your Boat Days champion and a mom. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah. Um, that was one of the events I won on Tree in Your Boat Days before in my life. And I actually won a different event before when I was a teenager. I won the Team Your Boat races. I was being a steerer. I, I, sat, I stood at the top of the boat and I steered. That's another story for another time. My New Year's resolution was to keep up with my videos and like keep uploading so that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to stick to my word and start doing youtube again and then i'm gonna do a video about like your boat days and like what we do there and all the different types of events they have and the food they have there as well so yeah those are my ideas right now um and i'm gonna try okay so that's it that's all i have to say Bye.